Hello, this video I'll be talking about the Marble Clay plugin for uh, Net Eurozy and um, the scriptable export for, for Marble Clay. Um, to get Marble Clay, you go to the Marble Clay homepage, which, which is here, and you click download, and then it's you want the latest version, which is this one, 6.4 beta. Um, you also want to get the the plugin, which is uh, will be here as version 2.2. Um, so let's I've already downloaded. So let's go. Uh, so to install, you you just wanna um, I recommend putting it in the C drive. Oh, not not there. Into the C drive. So this is a virtual machine. It's um, it's from Archive. It's specifically made for Net Eurozy programming, I guess. Okay, so um, you can put it, you got to remove the uh, the version number. It has to be Marble Clay, um, and that's it. It can't have anything else. Um, it can be in the C drive or it can be in under Program Files. Um, that's not a Marble Clay thing. That's uh, my my pro my my plugin. It looks at, in those locations and and if it doesn't find um, the plugin file in here, then it won't work. Um, so the first thing you, you want to do after copying that, you want to put something there or rename the Japanese. That way it'll um, load up as English. Um, and then we start. OK, and then the first thing it does is the, uh, the configuration wizard. Um, this is how I configure my Marble Clay. Um, I use the middle button um, to pan the scene. Um, it's just next, 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 and then finish. Um, and what, so by default it just rotates. So I've got two rotation buttons left, um, the right button and the middle button, which isn't very helpful. Um, so I want to make it um, move, which is a pan, and then when I roll up, I want it to zoom in. Now I'm panning, and then there we go. And I want to exit, and that'll update the ini file. So next, you want to um, install the batch, uh, the plugin. So uh, you don't need the the source code. You just drop and override everything. That overwrites, updates the um, the the help which is um, the English translation, which is the stuff um, I've been doing. Um, it's just, uh, I think I'm like one third of the way through. It's pretty. It's a pretty big help. Um, and then the tutorial's all done. That's actually, um, actually I'll launch instead of talking about it. Uh, uh, you might want to create a shortcut as well. So shortcut. OK, so F1 launches the help. Um, so this is uh, the help that I've been doing. This link goes to that uh, same page that we downloaded the, the plugin from. Um, if you do use Marble Clay, I suggest emailing the developer. Um, it is a free app um, currently, I guess. Um, so it's limited to 10,000 polygons, which sounds like a lot, but it's not really when you start getting into bigger models, especially um, with the sub um, subsurfaces, uh, all the division and stuff like that, the high details um, can reach 10,000 easily. Um, so yeah, you want to activate, um, so you just email you email the developer um, with subject Marble Clay registration, you answer these questions, and then he replies back with the code. Um, and then uh, you just go up here register which I'm which I've already done so anyway um, that's important to do uh, so let's no I'll, while looking at the help let's look at the, the tutorial um, the tutorial is all finished it's actually a, a good introduction to marble clay um, uh, it's it's a relative it's a very straightforward program um, in that the UI is very simple. Um, the only complicated part is the um, the the work plane, what they call a work plane. Um, anyway, yeah. 
it's all there documented. Um, so let's get on with it. We need a, a model that open and we're gonna I don't think it's that I think it's no, not that one. Anyway, this will do. Um, I think there was something wrong with this one. I can't remember exactly. Anyway, um, so let's just do an export for now. Um, so with the export, I think you have to select um, a root uh, object, which is this one. Uh, and then um, you need to specify so the material has a texture, so the textures need um, uh, need to be configured for the playstations with a size. This is all documented in in the the text files, and that's I think the only one with a with a texture. Um, and then you just export or save to test and we'll change that to PlayStation. Let's go test here as well. Um, it, these do nothing, so it, it's all automatically configured. Okay, body. Did I? Oh, okay. So this one, um, the texture is in the in the application and it's not. it hasn't been exported before. So in that case, what you do is you select, and then this one, the last one, is save. So it kind of needs to be translated. It doesn't really matter where you save it or what you call it. Um, okay, now if we try it. Okay, so you'll get this. So basically, it's created the... Uh, the RSD files, so it's already converted it. Um, so and now it's asking, well, do you want to launch um, the emulator and view it in the emulator, or do you want to just convert it to the TMD? TMD is the PlayStation format, which NetEurosy uses. Or uh, cancel is just stop, stop right there. Uh, we'll go yes, and we'll see the emulator. takes a while to load. Okay, and this is it. So now we can rotate it and um, it's it's using um, light calculations, but that can be disabled. Uh, again, this is all in the documentations. Um, so if we zoom in, we can see s like some defects like here, there's, there's triangles just disappearing. And the reason why that is, um, this model is, uh, it's not gonna, it's modeled in quads. So most of these, so we can, yeah, most of it, not that one. Yeah, most of it's um, quads. Uh, and the PlayStation doesn't like the quads unless they're absolutely flat, like the coplanar. Um, the reason is because um, they've only got one normal, and using one normal with two triangles isn't a good idea because you'll get... Uh, the PlayStation, I think, uses a normal as a, uh, in a visual test to see if it should display or not. And anyway, it's, it's a catch... It's a catch-22 kind of thing because if you split it, if I split this into triangles, it'll it'll be a, a way bigger model. Obviously, it'll be and it'll be a lot slower. Um, but anyway, that's that's the plugin to export. Uh, next, we'll use the frog. Um, so to to use the batch, it's exactly the same. So this one has a a map. So it has to have the PlayStation um, details. Uh, again, this is all documented, but we'll give it the same 256, 256, 8, which is the, the width and the height and the bit depth. So it's an 8-bit image. Um, and then 
um, the default is on PlayStation, so it'll just run a PlayStation script. Um, the script is actually kind of interesting. It's running the emulator now. Okay, so what the script does is it, so here you can you can see more of the same, the polygons, some of the, the polygons just not, uh, there's also um, Z fighting here as well. So this, this frog, the eyes, the eyes, that's Z, that's Z fighting. That's a completely different issue. The model is, it's not sorted in. It you can't really sort in in Z because it depends on your direction that you're looking. So it's just that it's just a polygon suit. There's no Z buffer, so it's just gonna do its best to to figure out what's in front and what's not. Um, so here you can see the inside of the mouth over the the outside of the mouth. Uh, anyway, so uh, I think that's from the browser, not this. Okay, we'll check out the plugin. So the scripts are here. So I've got I've got one for the PlayStation, which is this one by default. It only works if you have. Net Eurozy environment, and it only works. There's a lot of conditions to it. That's why I said the virtual machine is probably the best approach. But we'll have a look. <coughs> anyway, um, so it turns off Echo, so we don't get any, we don't get anything except pretty much the um, the emulator. But what it's doing is it's exporting to an RSD file, and then it's um, it's copying that that RSD file, the frog, and it's moving it to a different location and then creating it as one and then doing, moving it, using that frog, moving it to a different location, creating it as two and three. And then here, what it does is it concatenates one, two, three, and the test um, models and then, in, and it outputs to a test all. And then it, this converts the, um, the RSD into a TMD and then it displays it on the emulator. Um, yeah, if you're using this in Windows 10, which it, it runs in Windows 10, the only catch is the the documentation doesn't seem to work, at least not for me. So, but it does work. Um, it just this just doesn't work. So I'm, I might include it as a PDF with all the all this. Uh, so let's continue. Um, so yeah, if you'll have to change this because this can't, normally it, it automatically creates it, but it, because there's just so much, so many files there, I don't think it does all of it and it'll just fail. Uh, so anyway, let's continue. So that's, that's pretty much most of the PlayStation stuff. Um, like I said, um, the export can be a bit complicated. Um, so this is the, the format here. So the G is grayscale. It has to be capitals. Um, here is the so if if you're using a lot of textures and you want to manually locate the textures in VRAM yourself and you know what you're doing, um, uh, actually the script the script helps you in that it also creates um, a PSX file which is for the Tim tool. So you can kind of do it on on here, it's so you can have a quick look at how um, this thing uh, has created all your, wh where it's put all your images. Uh, you can also see it in the emulator as well. Anyway, um, so getting back to this, this is, um, so G is optional, uh, so that's your, your, uh, this, so this first part is the image that you're converting. So you could, this image theoretically could be, uh, so if we have a look at the UVs here, so uh, we'll have a look at the diffuse. Yeah. So this image, I don't, I think it's 512 by 512. Um, so yeah, obviously that's too big for the PlayStation, so it has to be resized. So this is what this does. It resizes it and converts it to that bit to that bit size, it could, it, the bits can be 16, eight or four, and that's it. Um, 
next is um, where where you can leave this part out and it just does it for you, but it's limited to, I think, I don't know, a, a very few amount, maybe six, depends how big they are. Anyway, um, so this is two values. Um, this is, these start at one, so these will start at one and these start at zero. Um, anyway, so this is the X and the Y of where the image will be located in VRAM. So as I showed before, it's this value here. This, this actually this value here. Uh, and then the next value is the clap value. Um, and that's what goes here. Uh, anyway, so there's a lot of information there. Um, it, it should work. I've, I've been looking at this for a while now and I've tested a, a few possibilities and it works reliably. Um, that's not to say there's no issues. If there are issues, please post it on, on that forum the link with the forum and yeah um, so moving on um, uh, I think that's enough for the PlayStation stuff uh, it also exports um, OBJs so I'm using Horde 3D on PC specifically Windows XP I guess so this is the the PSX um, these in theory can be just a single batch but I thought I'd split it up just because it to make more sense of it um, because they're completely different. So the OBJ, um, they're both kind of different and complicated in their own regards. Um, so the first thing, the first thing, I don't know if you've noticed, but this isn't, hang on a sec here. No, it's this one. This isn't a, a bump map. This is uh, like a grayscale. This is a height map. Um, so it shouldn't be, it should be, it should be uh, bluish. Uh, so I've got it under. Uh, I think I've got it here. Yeah. So if we edit this, Control A, Control C. Okay. And um, the way you can import it as a normal text file, as a normal image file, but um, Marble Clay has this feature where you can um, export to the clipboard and then this loads doesn't work but it, it's supposed to start GIMP or whatever it's configurable in the options and anyway I just pasted it so um, what else uh, I think that's pretty much it um, so let's see now this outputs this outputs all the the lines from the script um, just so you can see uh, okay so it's saying that it couldn't find the freeze model. Uh, Marble Clay uses freeze for pretty much two things. Uh, the freeze option is here. Uh, I don't know if I documented it. I don't think I got to it yet. Um, but anyway, the freeze is used for um, the bones. When so, uh, Marble Clay is used for posing. So which means you assign bones and then you. I'll show that later. Uh, but it's used for also used for um, switching to high detail. So uh, when we export, we export what's in this, um, like a normal view, but Marble Clay, like I said, has sub subdivision sub surfaces, I think they're called, which makes everything a lot smoother, a lot high res, high, higher detail. We can lock that in, we can um, keep it, and basically in that mode, we just subdivide it. Uh, four is a bit higher, so I'll go two. Now we're looking at two models here because it created the freeze object, which is the the higher poly one. So we can turn that off and click on the freeze. So as you can see, um, the quads were like twice as big, obviously. So we'll continue, and this should work. I oh, it also removed the mirror, so it it baked in the what was on the mirror and subdivided everything all in one click or two clicks and now if you export uh, so I'll talk through it so Collada um, yeah uh, Horde uses the Collada format uh, so and to get OBJ from 
converted to Collada, I use Ascent, which is a great tool. It really is. So this is the 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 the, the DAE file is Collada, Collada's format. As you can see, the the normal the normal is working fine. So we can check, and it's all fine. And it's how many polygons? Seven thousand. So, uh, so now what it's doing, it's copying the exported images to where I convert um, the Collada into um, Horde. So it's the first time I'm running it, so sometimes it throws up errors, it's no big deal. So this is the batch script that I use to help um, convert the Collada into Horde. Uh, it tells you the degenerate triangles, which is um, basically uh, a line with three points instead of a triangle. Um, okay, so now it's recreating the material. Um, the converter, for some reason, doesn't um, convert the materials very well. So just the materials are very simple to work with in Horde. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> um, so yeah, there, there it is. It's textured and the normals kind of hard to see but they they come in and out as depending on the the light so it's, it's yeah all that detail um, so we can add more we can repeat the same process again um, and it'll create uh, oh, we won't anyway so that's that's the whole process so we can repeat it and go do four will go crazy detail. So it's done another another freeze freeze. So we don't we can delete these or we can save save them out or whatever. Um, but it's not going to work if it's got two freeze. So it only works with one. So that's I'm guessing twenty thousand polygons or something like that. We'll see. This one's taking a while. I think I think I've only given it two cores. I can't remember. It's, it's struggling. Oh, finally. Okay. Wow, look at that. One hundred and thirteen. like the UVs kind of I didn't even check the UV anyway okay so let's, let's see if horde oh it's down here yeah there it is there's a hundred and and something. So this is the viewer is something I just coded. Uh, so it's pretty crap. Anyway, um, the next thing. So that's how to do, how to do an o, OBJ export. Um, I'll show I'll show how Marble Clay also does um, the bones. So this is this this model that comes with uh, Marble Clay is. It's rigged and it's um, skinned. Um, like I said, there's no animation in Marble Clay, but what you can do is use the poses as keyframes for um, like a uh, vertex animation. Um, so basically, okay, so and then you just uh, rotate and That closes it. Anyway, uh, we'll export this, um, and the model needs to be. Uh, well, actually, we'll we'll need to um, freeze it. 
for the exporter to work because uh, it's looking for that name. Yeah, so that's that's it there. And then basically, uh, you just keep you you do the the poses as keyframes, and that's that's it there. Okay, so I'll delete it and then create another pose. the names on the bone. Which bone is this one? Okay. What do I do? Ah, um, so when the plugin finishes, um, you have to hit escape to go back to your select that's one thing I tried um, figuring out how to do, but uh, I just, okay, so I couldn't figure it out. Uh, I just want this bone, any bone. this one down and that one's over here and this one up okay and okay um, yeah and we'll just freeze it and preview it um, happened uh, and I completely missed it. Um, it seemed to have worked. I don't know why Async just crashed like that, but anyway. Um, I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, like I said, if you find this application interesting, uh, check out the tutorial. Probably start from there. If you're in Windows 10, maybe even 7 or 11, and this doesn't work for you, um, I'll have I'll have uh, a PDF version of it, so at least you can read through it. Um, yeah. Uh, any questions or any issues regarding the plugin? Uh, just let me know on um, uh, it's not here. The URL. This one, the United Artists. Cool. Thanks.